There are many personality quirks that develop as a result of sleep apnea. People who have had sleep apnea from a young age tend to be more anxious thanks to an increase in stress hormones. Many of those people have chronic daytime fatigue due to poor sleep and can be diagnosed with ADHD or other learning disorders. Disruptions to certain sleep stages can make people have problems with short-term memory, coordination, as well as emotional dysregulation that come from a reduction in REM. Because REM is the period at night of dreaming, as well as when sleep apnea is more prevalent, nightmares and negative imagery can become more vivid and extreme during deep sleep. It's like pouring gasoline on the fire of intrusive subconscious negativity. And that can make the treatment of PTSD and severe depression very challenging. Some individuals with unrecognized sleep breathing problems can look like typical insomnia. I've seen many such people prefer to stay up late, call themselves night owls, because in reality, they need to feel absolutely exhausted to fall asleep and obtain any deep sleep. I've also seen the opposite. People with morning predominant sleep apnea pushing them out of bed early with a head full of steam. Those people consider themselves go-getters who tend to fizzle out in the afternoon and strongly avoid any deviation to their early bedtime. Those people can't sleep in even if they tried. Finally, people with chronic daytime fatigue seek out higher stimulating, adrenaline producing daytime activities which help keep them awake and alert. Sitting in the back row of a lecture hall would certainly cause them to doze off.